this is Indra, working as assistant professor in Department of Nutrition and Dietetics at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to learn about the subject Quantity Food Service and Physical Facilities. Under this, the topic is about standardization of a recipe. Good standardized recipe will include the menu item name, total yield, portion size, ingredient list and preparation procedures. Under the menu item, the name of the given recipe that should be consistent with the name on the menu. The total yield is number of servings or portions that a recipe produce and often the total weight or volume of the recipe. The amount or size of the individual portion is about portion size. Exact quantities of each ingredient is covered under ingredient list. Preparation procedure is about specific direction for the order of operation and types of operation. Example blend, fold, mix and sorting. Standard recipe format and uses. A standard recipe is a method of standardizing recipe in such a way so that there is a tight control on cost and quantity. Standardized should not be allowed to still stiffy the individual chef flyer. A hotel can control quantities, quality and cost more easily. It is more useful to use a standard recipe in a hotel where there are a number of chefs cooking the food. The standard recipe lays down all the ingredients, method of product, production, quantities used. It indicates the number of portions to be served. This will in determine the size of the portion of production control. A section giving variation can be added to reduce the total number of recipes required. Objectives of standard recipe. To determine the quantity and quality of the ingredient used to obtain the yield from a recipe to determine the cost per portion to determine the nutritive value, to facilitate portion control. It helps in costing of dishes, rising menus for the banquet. It helps in uniform quality and taste, require less supervision, less training is required for newly appointed employee, establish food cost control. Uh, these are the examples for a uh, standardized recipe menu card. Common recipe elements in a standardized recipe. A recipe or recipe card name section meal pattern contribution. It includes the name of the recipe, the recipe card number, the section that the recipe should be classified under grains, meat and others etc. And the contribution that one serving makes towards the children nutrient meal. Pattern example, uh, pizza crust B4 uh, grains 2.5 ounce equivalents per portions like that. Ingredients listed in order of preparation and specifies the type of food used such as fresh apples, canned corn, macaroni and ground beef etc. Uh, weigh and, weight and measures. The weight and measure of each ingredient used in both weight and volume measure. Uh, weight ingredients is for weighing ingredients is faster, easier and more accurate. Procedure. Direction on how to prepare the recipe. It includes a direction for mixing a number of size of pans, cooking temperature and time, the direction for serving. Yield. The yield of a recipe should be recorded as the total weight or volume produced per 50 or 100 servings. Example 50 servings, 23 pounds, uh, 4 ounce or 100 servings like that. Serving size. List the number of servings that a recipe yields and the portion size to be served. Uh, example uh, for 50 half cup servings is required. Cost per serving, it is optional. Determine the total cost to prepare the recipe and divide it by number of servings prepared to equal the cost of one serving. Equipments and utensils to use. List of cooking and serving tools needed to produce and serve the food item. Cooking temperature and time. Appropriate temperature and amount of time needed for the highest quality of the product. Advantages of using standard recipe. It provides consistent high quality food items that has that have been thoroughly tested and evaluated it controls portion size which is very important in costing a dish it is easy to determine the food cost of a particular dish it simplifies the pricing of a particular dish it reduces the possibility of error using this standardized recipe supports creative in cooking the quantity of ingredients needed for the production can be easily calculated based on the information provided on the recipe the next topic is about standard portion size. A standard portion size represents the amount that is weight, count, size or value of each food item which is sold to the guest for a stated price 
and should be established for all items including appetizers, main courses, vegetables, salads, desserts, beverage, etc. The main objective of the standard portion size is to serve the guest with the measured quantity of food for which he is paying thereby earning guest satisfaction. It is used as a tool for controlling staff activity regarding production and sales and determining the standard cost for per portion. Portioning equipments. The equipments used are standardized sized pan, serving spoons, scoops, cups, glasses and molds, cutting markers, portion scale and ladles. The next one is about portion control. It means the amount of size of a portion of a food to be served to a customer. Food casting and portion control are implemented and the, and the need for this form of control comes from both sides of business from the caterer and his customers. There is a natural tendency for the clients to eye one another person, portion when they are served. If one is taught to be slightly larger then the other is apt to be resentment. Only exact portion control can eliminate this. Monitoring portion control could be done by direct supervision by sales analysis and by comparing the requests of cash departments with issues. Thank you.